ஆமியர் டேபிள் காலம் ஃபார் தி गिवन எபிசைக்ளிக் கியர் ட்ரெயின் நமக்கு சம்பளம் கொடுத்திருக்க எபிசைக்ளிக் கியர் ட்ரெயின் டயகிராம் வந்து நம்ம எப்படி ஒரு டேபிள் காலம் ஃபார்ம் பண்ணலாம் அது ஸ்பீட் டேபிள் காலம் எப்படி ஃபார்ம் பண்ணலாம் அப்படிங்கறத இதல பார்க்கலாம் எபிசைக்ளிக் கியர் ட்ரெயின் பொறுத்து வரைக்கும் தேர் will be a sun gear and the another gear which is having meshing center la epovume or sun nu or gear irukum gear irukum it can assume as sun and another gear will be there that is planet so the planet enna panu appadina it will rotate by itself and it will around the sun also thanna thane suthikku at the same time la sunne enna ayi pottu rotate pannikku then finally outer la enna irukum appadina or internal gear and the sun and planet gear will be maintained with the particular distance by means of arm sun and planet gear will be opened by means of arm it will be maintained with a certain distance idha enna opened as epicyclic gear so in the epicyclic gear train to calculate the speed for each element we have to form the table column and adu eppadi paakala so let me take here gear a is the sun gear that is gear a and gear b and c so b and c are p and common gears which act as planet so b and c are the common gear are both gears are mounted in single shaft ore shaft la rendu gear mount pannirundanga appadina adu common gear so b and c are common gear which act as planet and then there are two internal gears D and E, two internal gears, D and E. E is having mesh with C gear, D is having mesh with B gear, and Sun A is having mesh with C gear. So this is important. In the gear, in the gear, put a mesh here. Gear A, what do you think of now? Gear A is meshing with gear C. Gear C and B are in a what do you know? Common gear. So gear B. and c are common gears single shaft can i go mountain go then c is meshing with gear e and b is meshing with gear d idha enna appadina normal meshing condition a u c u eppadi mesh aayirukku appadina externally meshing randume external gear a eppadi irukku then c eppadi irukku both are meshing externally and c and b common gear c and e eppadi mesh aayirukku appadina internally mesh aayirukku c and e e gear will be internal and c eppadi mesh aayirukku appadina internal la irukna mesh aayirukku similarly d is meshing with b internally so a mattum da c kuda eppadi irukku appadina external meshing la irukku c and b are having internal mesh with e and d adu namak careful la vera appadina kuda paathu இல்ல என்ன டிஃபரன்ஸ் அப்படினா இஃப் இஸ் எக்ஸ்டர்னலி மெஷிங் இஃப் இட் இஸ் கிளாக் வைஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் will be anti clockwise ரெண்டுமே ஆப்போசிட் டைரக்ஷன் ஆ இருக்கும் இன்டர்னல் மெஷ் ஆயிருக்கு அப்படினா இஃப் சி இஸ் இன் கிளாக் வைஸ் இ ஆல்சோ will be in clock wise சோ இன்டர்னல் மெஷிங் பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் both gear will be rotating in same direction for external meshing both gear will be rotating in opposite direction so the internal versus external meshing is more important when we consider the rotation that's it now we can come to the table column so the table column is made by means of assumptions so we have to make some assumptions and based on that we can calculate the final equations of speed of individual elements so first assumption enna appadina if the epicyclic gear train having arm the first assumption is arm is fixed whatever may be the epicyclic gear train the first assumption will be the arm is fixed and we have to rotate any one gear for plus one revolution anti clockwise direction nam irukka gear la edavum or gear or complete rotation make pannum appadina matha gear la endha alavukku rotation aagudhu abbingiradha dhaan enna panna porom appadina indha table la kaana fill panna porom endha gear ah na eduthukalam appadina i take gear a yeah but now gear a enga irukku appadina center la irukku if i rotate the gear which is at center that will be more easy for me center la irukka gear na rotate panni palaiyida appadina remaining gear la eppadi rotate aagudhu abbingiradha na easy ah enna pannalam appadina identify pannikalam from diagram so i take gear a 
plus one revolution anti clockwise direction ninga anti clockwise eduthukalam illa appadina clockwise eduthukalam anti clockwise eduthitinga appadina anti clockwise is positive and clockwise negative suppose in a clockwise la initial rm kidinga appadina clockwise positive ah irukum anti clockwise negative ah irukum that is the first assumption and second assumption will be the same arm is fixed and the same gear a plus x revolution adavadhu or gear undu ore or revolution la sukuma appadina kandipa illa it will be rotating for number of revolutions adu ethra number nu namakku theriyadhu so we consider it is rotating x revolution anti clockwise direction so same assumption will be modified first assumption la ore or revolution rotate aagudhu vechirukom second la pombodhu we don't know how many revolution it will make at final so we can consider plus x revolution that's it so now we can come here a is rotating one revolution anti clockwise AU, CU, என்ன B U C U compound gears both are in single shaft. Then C U E U mesh is there. Then C and E mesh is there. Every mesh is there. Internal mesh is there. Internal mesh. Now, what do I mean? Internal mesh means same direction. So, if C rotating clockwise direction, E also will rotating clockwise direction. B U D is there. The internal. B clockwise means D also in clockwise. So, E clockwise direction at the same time, D also in clockwise direction. so we can say that gear a gear a edu kuda mesh aayirukku appadina gear c kuda mesh aayirukku c and b are compound gears compound gears ku ore or kala pogudhu and c is meshing with d sorry c is meshing meshing with e and then b is meshing with d gear a rotating anti clockwise direction gear c clockwise gear e clockwise gear d so once we know how it is meshing internally or externally then only we can identify how it will rotate either clockwise or anti clockwise so now we can fill the table column so arm oda speed enna appadina initial condition enna arm is fixed arm is fixed panitaanga appadina the speed is zero rotate aagala nadu zero and gear a oda speed enna appadina gear a is rotating plus one revolution ore or revolution na so speed enna appadina one rpm one one revolution so plus 1 abin make panikkom gear c gear e gear d idella eppadi sutti irukum abingiradhu namma enna panna mudiyadhu guess panna mudiyadhu arm fix pandringa okay speed is zero gear a enna pandringa appadina ore or rotation make pandringa so revolution one nu potrala a nu or revolution rotate pannu abina b c d e idella evlo rotate aayirukum abingiradhu theriyadhu so by using the gear ratio we are going to calculate the revolutions of other gears So gear ratio is not enough. Gear ratio G is equal to n1 by n2 is equal to d2 by t1. Speed is indirectly proportional to number of teeth. So this is what we call the gear ratio. Gear ratio is what we call the speed. So this is what we call the speed. This is gear A B C. This is gear A. This is gear C. so a u c in external measure is so speed of a divided by speed of c is equal to teeth of c divided by teeth of a speed of a na say idu namakku theriyum speed of a is plus 1 so plus 1 divided by speed of c is equal to t of c divided by t of a so speed of c is equal to plus 1 in the t of a divided by t of c that's it so speed of c na the plus 1 revolution t of a divided by t of c idhe mari ovvoru gear ku using gear ratio we can calculate the speed value so again adutha gear eduthukala adutha gear enna appadina c is meshing with e idhu c idhu e 
So n c divided by n e is equal to t e divided by t c. So n e is equal to n c into t c by t e. N c value is written here. N c value speed of c value plus one into t a by t c into t c by t. That is speed of t. अगला भी आएगा plus one into t a by t c into t c by t e t c t c कैंसिल आएगा so final answer will be t a by t t c t c ना आएगा कैंसिल आएगा so plus one into t a by t e that's it and similarly we can go for another gear another gear ना रखे d रखे d ये तो बड़ा मशहूर है इन पर इधर d D is equal to measure it, B is equal to measure it. So, this is B and this one is D. NB by ND is equal to TD by TB. NB is equal to ND into TD by TB. And ND is equal to NB into TB by TB. NB is equal to the number gear C U, gear B U, one shaft is equal to. So, N B is equal to another N C. N B is equal to N C. So, N D is equal to, N C is equal to value of value of value, plus 1 T A by T C into T B by T D. That's it. So, plus 1 T A by T C into T B by T D. So this is how we are going to fill the table column and then we have to say that based on the rotation we have to compare always with A. If we have a anti-clockwise rotate pannera dhaga dhaga, yella gear me enna adha abhina rotate aradhu. So over gear enna enna pannu akku na, A kuda compare pannu pannu pannu. Compare pannu pannu same direction na irundhudhu akku inna positive. Suppose compare pannu pannu opposite direction na irundhudhu akku inna negative. You first A on the anti-clockwise direction. A when you see A in upper pannu, it is anti-clockwise, it is clockwise. Opposite direction, so negative. And then gear E in upper, gear E clockwise. Gear A in upper, anti-clockwise. B could compare pannu pannu. E to G, A could have done. A is on the input, A is on the input. So we have to compare each gear as with A alone. A anti-clockwise, E clockwise. So, opposite direction, negative. And then, D clockwise, A anti clockwise, opposite direction. So, negative. So, this is how we are going to fill the first column. Once we have filled the first column for all the gears, the first row will be completed and remaining rows will be normal only. Remaining row na, arm fixed 0, A order value plus X. Plus 1 is equal to plus X is full away substitute. Pan so, minus X into TA by TC minus x into t a by t e minus minus x into t a by t c t b by t e and then we have to add y to all the columns ella column kodiyo plus y add pannu id edukku appo na to form the final equation we have to maintain one constant for that we have to add plus y. Add pending up na plus y. Then and add pon up na x plus y. Then add pon up na y minus x into t a by t c. Y minus x into t a by t e. Y minus x into t a by t c. T b by t e. So ida na up na speed of arm. Ida speed of a. Speed of C and speed of B. Here, and then one shaft is there. Speed of C, speed of B, same. This is speed of E. This is speed of D. So, this is how we can form the table column to calculate the speed of individual element in epicyclic gear. Thank you.